My name is Jen and I am the creator of Bruise Wraps. If you are anything like me and either you're battling insomnia or your two-year-old refuses to go to sleep, that was me tonight, um, or just the aches and pains from pregnancy, I am just about 37 weeks pregnant and I just want to be able to share with all of you some different stretches that I learned at the at Julia Piazza's birth wisdom yoga teacher training on how to create space for baby and then also how to relieve sciatica pain so if you are someone who is going through that and you can't sleep get out of bed do a couple of stretches and then try to get back into bed and see how your body will feel after doing that so you can get a yoga mat you can do this on your carpet you can do it on a rug whatever is comfortable for you, for you you will hear my cat he does like to come in while i'm creating videos his name is maverick um if you are on a hard surface grab a blanket or a pillow say hi maverick <laughs> usually it's my two-year-old on my back so the reason why i'm up so late doing this is because with having Eli, who's two, he refused, he, he likes to do yoga with mama, so he's usually on my back or something like that, so I can't get into my stretches as much. So find yourself a comfortable spot and um, enjoy. So grab a blanket and then start to make your way into all fours. A lot of times women who are pregnant, um, you can see my baby bump. Yes, from this angle it looks really big too. So almost 37 weeks, I'll be 37 weeks on Thursday. Um, something I don't battle, but a lot of women do, is a lot of inflammation in the hands and in their wrists and their ankles. If you do end up getting a lot of fluid retention, then you can bring your hands forward. The other thing that you can do is roll up the edge of a yoga mat, place your hands there, the other thing that I like to do a lot, and it takes pressure off of my wrist, is I like to hold the edges of my yoga mat. And what we're gonna do to just start right away is to connect with breath. You're gonna inhale through your nose and exhale out of your mouth. So I'll do it from the side so you can see. It's gonna sound like this. With every exhale, you're gonna wanna think about softening your body. So to be able to teach you, I won't be able to do that. This will just be a quick little video so that I can also get my stretches and my my um, my birth breathing in as well. Cause three weeks ago, I need to soften this body and um, create a way for a little baby boy. We like the name Isaiah to be born. So find your space and connect with your breath and allow for your knees to be slightly back and your hands to be slightly forward. Because we'll start with pelvic circles so your knees are nice and wide. And you'll start just by reaching all the way up towards the right wrist, all the way back to the left, all the way down to the hips. So connect with the breath and just allow for the body to start to open, moving nice and slow moving in one direction and then we'll reverse those circles so again connect with breath inhale and exhale and if you're pregnant you'll be breathing into your baby if you're just enjoying stretching as well, then there is no baby to breathe in. So reversing the circles, start to go in the opposite direction. The beautiful thing is, is if you are going into a, if you're gonna plan on a natural labor, um, grab your yoga mat and then also a birth ball and you can do this over a ball because your arms will get tired. So just allowing for yourself to continue to stretch, to move, to get out any kinks that are in the back, in the pelvic floor, in the spine, in the hips. 
And then your next step will be to take your left leg out to the left, plant the left foot onto the ground, pointing the left knee up towards the ceiling. You'll be doing the same exact thing that we just did, except for now with the leg out like that, it actually will open up your pelvis up to 30%. So thank you, Julia Piazza, for teaching us that. I'm so excited. Hopefully this will be an easier delivery than Eli. And then once again, you'll just start to stretch and move, opening maybe the left leg will straighten. Just allow for that hip to soften with every exhale. Moving around. Very different than your typical yoga breath, like that ujjayi breathing if you practice yoga. And then the left knee will come back down and your right foot will step off to the right. And then once again, you'll start those pelvic circles. So if you're watching, how much of that person? Up to 30% your pelvis will open, just helping create space for your baby to be born. Breathing in and out. Allowing for that side to begin to release. Moving in whichever way feels good for you. Again, if you're doing a natural birth, you'll want a birth ball so that you can lay over it. I can do that in another video. And roll around and it will make it a lot easier for you. Then you'll slowly come back to center. And if you are battling sciatica, your baby's sitting on that nerve, you'll want to bring your hands over to the left side of your mat, both hands, and then step your right foot forward. And wherever it lands, that's where it lands. Don't try to force it forward. And then just start to shift forwards and back. And this here will just really help to release the, your sciatica. It'll again, help create space for your baby to be born. And again, you can be laying over a birth ball and just rocking back and forth, helping you get through all the contractions. And we practice the birth breath to help get through those contractions, to practice the softening. So again, if you're just now joining in, it's in through the nose and then out through the mouth. And with every exhale, you soften, allowing for the body to begin to relax instead of holding on so tight. And then very slowly, that right foot, that right knee will come back. Your hands will move over to the right side of the mat and your left foot will step forward. Then you'll start to stretch forwards and back. Hi, I can't read who, who's actually saying it, but I see hi, Jen. <laughs> hi. So yes, even if you're not pregnant, you can, you can share this video with a pregnant mama or just enjoy it for yourself. Yeah, continue to breathe, continue to stretch, allowing for space to be created. And then after that, your left knee will come back and you'll go through just a couple of simple of cat cows. So the hands, again, they can be under the shoulders. If that's uncomfortable for you, bring the hands slightly forward if you're holding on to a lot of fluid. So find your spot, lift the tailbone, the crown of the head, take a big breath in. And then 
exhale and round the spine. Inhale, arch. And exhale, round. Another big breath in. And big breath out. Come back to a neutral spine. And you can walk your feet, walk your knees forward, and then come to sit down onto your blanket. Here you'll draw the soles of the feet together and the knees will open wide. And what this does is it encourages your baby to start to move down. So if you are, if you have a breech baby, you do not want to be in the shape. This is called butterfly. I'm sure many of you have seen it. If you have kids, maybe you've wiggled the knees up and down. But once again, this is encouraging your baby to move down into the pelvis. And so you'll want to close your eyes and again, just start to practice the birth breath of inhaling through the nose. And exhaling, you'll soften and let everything go. As you breathe and continue to um, just, as you breathe, continue to connect to your baby, breathing into your baby. And you'll notice that as you breathe really deep into the belly, your baby will start to move. So he, he or she will interact with you too. And it's really neat to be able to start to feel that. If you do have a breech baby, is all you would do is grab a pillow and then lay over your pillow with the legs still the way that they are. It's called Supta Baddha Konasana or a reclined butterfly. And that's something that's safe for you to be able to do with a breech baby. Taking another big breath in and big breath out. One more time, inhale. As you exhale, pressing all the air down, all the way through the pelvic floor, and breathe into that softening. Keeping on to your blanket, both sits bones are sitting onto your mat or onto your blanket. Knees can just come out by your sides. Do a gentle spinal twist. Your right hand will come to the right hip, left hand to the outside of the right knee. Take a deep inhale through the nose, and then just exhale and twist. Another big breath in and big breath out. Slowly coming back to center, you'll switch sides. We know that this specific twist is safe because both sits bones are on the, on the mat. Take an inhale and an exhale. Another breath in and another breath out. And then slowly release. So those are just a couple little stretches. Um, share it with your friends, share it with your family if you know of anyone who's pregnant um, or even who just had a baby. Those will feel really great. Um, as you know, with Ruse Wraps, we do a lot of exercises with baby. If you, ha if you do have a baby, have the baby out in front of you and you'll do all of those stretches while looking at your baby, engaging with your baby. So you won't be using your birth breath, but you'll actually be connecting and having baby laugh and, and just have a really good time. And it's really good for calming a, a baby. So if your baby's crying a lot, you'll definitely want a ruse wraps and um, a blanket and a yoga mat and do some stretches. We'll be posting more videos a lot more after he's born.